Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can tell by the blog entry today, the love affair between the Pope and Islam is still going strong, just as prophesied. But uh, I'm just going to read a few excerpts from this article that you can get to by clicking the source, which is actually also talking about the video that's in the article as well. Very interesting stuff. Uh, but here, this is what they're, they're saying here in regards to uh, the Pope and Islam. It says, Robert Spencer is perhaps the foremost Catholic expert on Islam in the United States, and he has written in many Catholic and non-Catholic Christian publications and programs. Therefore, what Robert Spencer has to say in relation to Islam should at least be given serious consideration. In the case of this video, Spencer calmly presents legitimate concerns about what he believes would be the logical implications or real-world perceptions by Islamists of Pope Francis's statements and actions regarding Islam and the unchecked massive invasion of Islamist young men into non-Islamic nations. Given how deeply he is immersed every day in reporting on Islamic mass slaughters, violations of women and children, and many other jihadist depravities, it is no wonder that Spencer can seem rather harsh or blunt when discussing the Pope and Islamism. Spencer does not believe that traditional Islam is inherently terroristic, but says he can prove that traditional Islam contains violent and supremacist elements, and that its various schools unanimously teach warfare against and the subjugation of unbelievers. Well, with all that said, the Pope still declares Islam a religion of peace and the Quran to be a peace-filled book. And as this reporter states in the video, he also claims meeting with known terrorist leaders, as he's doing in this article, to be an act of love. I mean, this man of sin in Rome is doing the exact same thing Hitler's Pope did, only now he does this openly without fear of much reprisal because of how easily the media of today is scripted as well as how everybody's in agreement or wondering after this beast in Rome, as the prophecy stated. I mean, due to the dumbing down of billions of people, thanks to their government schools, as well as the censored media, and even Hollywood, most can't see the danger here. And even though violence is committed right in front of the face of some of these people, they still don't speak out against this Pope, because even if they did, the media would not allow it to be published anyway. Hence the reason I've had more than a few videos deleted by YouTube, as well as my main site being censored by AOL, Google, D-Link routers, and, and a whole mess of others. But still, not everyone is blind, but most still ignore the fact that a Christian is killed every two minutes at the hand of Muslims, who this Pope has stated more than once to be a brother in the Christian faith. I mean, think about that. Instead of declaring them sinful, as Jesus or John the Baptist did regarding the Pharisees, this Pope openly embraces them, and in so doing, gives them license to continue killing Christians because they figure everything's okay now. The man that could have done something isn't doing anything, and so they're going to go forward. I mean, most also ignore the fact that some Muslims have actually stated on camera that they left Islam to join the Catholic faith because their Quran was obviously written by the Popes of Rome. And most ignore the fact that Islamic leaders teach those loyal to their religion via their Quran and even their actions of approval, they teach them to not only worship the Roman Catholic Mary, which that one Muslim was talking about all over the place on that video I did some time ago, they are also in agreement when it comes to child molestation. But not for long. Soon, King Jesus will return, and Rome will burn, as will everyone in bed with the harlot that sits upon those seven hills. Thank you for watching. God bless.